seeing you from the air, you just 6A it. Yeah. Like, that's all you have to do. You just 6A it. Uh, I just do that until people figure it out. Yeah. Because it's free pressure. It's like plus five or something stupid. Yeah. I feel like that Hibiki, probably in the last round, could have just gone into super in that corner combo <laughs> and won. Uh, he, he said he dropped his super input is what happened. Okay. Because uh, I, I felt the same thing. I was like, oh, I'm definitely dead. Um, the problem yeah. with Koganoe is she has awful defensive options. Yes, she does. So Subaki Hibiki matchup. Yes. So um, my knowledge of Subaki is that she has charges. Yes. Uh, she can use them to make her drive moves better. Uh, she has Rekka's on every single button. Basically, yes. <laughs> and uh, no one plays her. Yeah, because everybody just plays easy away because she's the air quotes cooler Subaki. She is the cooler Subaki. Yeah. To be fair. But yeah, this is just standard Hibiki pressure. Um, yeah. He spaces it out pretty well so that you can't roll forward. Uh, roll forward is a horrible option in Blaze Blue. Yeah. Uh, I went for it because. Which I respect. I, you know, you got to try. You, you, but gotta, you gotta go for it. It's just, it's so bad. All you have to do is space it out and then hit 5A, you get a free combo. He did it to me and then it was just a... I tested it because I knew that I was up enough that it didn't matter if I lost the round. Yeah. Uh, to see if I could mash out of it and I, I can't. Hibiki's buttons are just faster than mine. Yeah. I as far as Subaki's concerned, I think Subaki actually has pretty slow normals, so... Yeah, but I think some of them went enhanced, with like enhanced drive normals, so they yeah. have armor or guard point. Yeah, but so you can blow through. without that, I think once he gets in the corner, this is going to be very rough, very rough for Subaki. Absolutely. Uh, also, that Hibiki JC, it's oh it's yeah, it's all it's a global. That's a global. Yeah, and I mean after um, Azuna drop, yeah. Hibiki can do safe jump IAD JC on Oki. Yes, it's he, a he didn't do it that much to you in your set, but it's really good. It is a solid safe jump. And this uh, Subaki does favor that super uh, just for pressure. I mean, he used it to get free stocks. Yeah. Um, everyone's coming into this rusty. Like, this is not peak Blaze Blue performance from anyone. No, this is not going to be like a CEO no. from like Mo years ago or something. Most everyone's been playing Melty. This game is nothing like Melty. So. No. It's nothing like Strive. It's yeah. Did that combo? Did that combo into the projectile? I believe it did, yeah. That was pretty sick. I'll be entirely honest, I'm not too familiar with Subaki combos, but that was pretty flashy. <laughs> uh, I've not even done trial mode for Subaki. I've never been more uninterested in the character in my life. That's fair. Um, if you want to talk about the lore, uh, <laughs> oh, I, can, we, I can explain what's going on with this character. We probably shouldn't do that. Uh, we'll be here all night. <laughs> but it is, it's just, I mean, this is a heavily offensive character uh, against a uh, another offensive mixed up base character. So whichever one gets like the first clean hit is just going to yes. start their game plan. But Subaki does have her DP and yes. you just saw it come out there. Um, I believe with stocks you can cancel DP into other special moves. Yes. Uh, so Hibiki can also DP rapid cancel and then get a high low mix. Yeah, but Hibiki can't just pressure with reckless abandon here. Exactly. Uh, he does have to respect the DP and the overdrive. I've never seen Overdrive get beat with a meaty. I uh, never have either, but that just happened. So I guess we're learning things in 2021 about Blaze Blue. <laughs> All right, so first round with the Hibiki. Um, I mean, it's a pretty close match. It's, yeah, it's really close. We'll it's, see how both players adapt. Yes, it's very much a... I mean, Blaze Blue's already an offensive-driven game. Oh, absolutely, yes. But I, I wouldn't say... I mean, I, I, I'm not super knowledgeable of either one of these characters. So um, I don't want to speak on matchup, but it looks pretty even. I mean, they both have similar tools. Uh, Hibiki damage is dog shit. Yeah. So Tsubaki has that going for her. It takes less hits to accomplish the same amount. Yeah, Hibiki basically just has very good pressure and like is easy to execute, but you lose out on damage. All right, I would definitely say he's more warmed up now after our match uh, yeah. because he's actually using super. Yes, he's not dropping super input. So um, I'm a little worried about that for next match. <laughs> yeah, because you are going to have to face whoever I gets am. out of this. Do, do you want to fight the Subaki or the Hibiki more? Um, I mean, honestly, I don't. Uh, I don't want to fight either one of these characters. That's fair. <laughs> uh, I would really like for people to play uh, Iron Tager against me. <laughs> uh, that would be nice. Tager mains rise yeah. up. Maybe um, 
It might be nice to have seen a, like a Noel. <laughs> uh, I would like to see Noel just because she's interesting to watch, even if she's bad. Yes. Uh, and Noel's mix-up is pretty linear. Okay. Did that they, was that was a return perfect. Yeah, so that's did they just alternate perfecting each other? They did. So um, okay, um, they're both sufficiently warmed up, I would say. Uh, yeah. One of the downsides of not having a single setup for casuals for Blaze Blue here is everyone was going in cold. Yeah, uh, he is remembering how to sabaki now. It looks like I think a lot of the casual setups were actually on undernight most <laughs> of today. It looked like so they're uh, that low with sabaki. It is low, low. It is a Gatling. He does not have to do the second hit. But so that kind of is a built-in mix-up already. OK. Um, yeah. the, when she opens the book, it's an overhead. Uh, the little fist, the, god, the little baby god fist. Yeah. So uh, a lot of her mix-up is around pretty much those two normals. Yes, uh, I mean, even her air normal is like, I, I have the privilege of playing a character that has twice hitting air normals as oh, well. Oh, wow. That was a great overdrive grab. Overdrive throw, so good. But uh, even the air normals, they hit twice. Yeah. So if they are spaced correctly, you are basically locking them into block stun until you land. So they cannot block the first hit, then anti-air you. Yeah, because um, yeah, she should have a JBB and JCC yeah. wreck a sequence. Yeah. And uh, especially um, the Hibiki, he favors barrier, which is a very guilty gear uh, Yeah, it's very thing. FD barrier, yes. similar mechanic. Uh, barrier adds two frames of block stun to anything you block. Yes. So I was using this to my advantage. If he blocks uh, Kokonoe's A bunker, uh, it makes it safe. OK. So it's the same. You kind of have to like choose your battles when to barrier. Now, how does instant block barrier interact so with that? So instant though? block barrier makes it zero, I believe. Because instant block makes it minus two. Barrier makes it plus two. So instant block barrier makes Just it zero. It yep. But also, um, it it mitigates the knockback. That's fair, yeah. That's what I thought, but I'm not familiar with instant block barrier mechanics yeah, stuff. Yeah, I believe. I'm trash. I know it, I, it manipulates frame data. I know that, and I know that it manipulates knockback. Um, I might be wrong on the the additional frames, but the concept is there. OK. So again, he, o he OD'd a little early. Um, so in, in 2.0, they made all of these punishable. So you cannot just throw out Excel exceeds anymore. That's probably a good call. It, it's actually. definitely a good call because that shit was not fun. <laughs> and now Hibiki's being a lot more patient. I think he realized that in the, as far as balls to the wall offense, Subaki, it, she trades higher. Yeah. She just she gets more damage, so the risk reward is going to be in her favor. Yeah, like she just got almost 3k off the same kind of confirm that would give Hibiki maybe two. Oh man, we just spent all our stocks going across the screen. All right, air unblockable. Um, that was pretty good. It looked like he was just trying to chicken block there. You can't do that in Blaze Blue. No. Uh, chicken block just gets you hit. Yeah, it's not a, a good button. No, there's a lot of mechanics that fighting games teach you that Blaze Blue punishes. Uh, this, why no one likes this game? It's, you, you have to know how to play Blaze Blue. Knowing how to play fighting games barely helps you. Yeah, it, it's very different. But this is a really close match. This um, is, yes. 2-1 the Tsubaki up right now? Yes, 2-1, Tsubaki's favor. We are seeing different block strings from the Hibiki now. Um, Adapting the game plan. We'll see how this works out for yeah, him. Yeah, probably trying to bait out some punishes. Uh, what I think would benefit him more, whenever he's contesting people's jump-ins, um, use your air unblockable moves. Not necessarily your 6P, but... Mm -hmm. uh, Usually 5Bs are air unblockable. Yeah. Instead of starting with a low, because when they're landing, they're always going to be blocking low. That's what everyone does. Yeah. All right, what do we get off of this? So for 50 meter, you get 2,000 damage. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, well, that was 50 meter for 2,000 damage. I guess I'm really privileged. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I think you might just be playing a good character. Yeah, for 50 meter, I get 5K. So 7K on counter hit. But there's no way I'm landing that combo after not playing for so long. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say he has probably one more mix-up. I don't know if this will kill. No. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. This, this puts him in a good situation. He's probably going to try to approach with the Hibiki okay. Shadow. Oh, clip. Good overhead. Clipped. I would have definitely tried to play the full screen game there. Yeah. Uh, Tsubaki's projectile is slow. 
Yeah, and he had the life lead. He did have the life lead. You have a life lead, slow projectile, should have just played patient. Also, Ibiki has a great air game. Um, he needs to use that more to his advantage, I feel like. Yeah, good DP. Yeah, I believe it'd be right. like Side air to air, into good buttons. Okay, let's see. What do we go for? Run up. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, he is meaty that every time. Habiki's jab just is that fast. Uh, I think in that situation, if he... I mean, he's done it every time. Mm -hmm. You just need to hold it down and immediately excel exceed. Yeah, I uh, think so. It's a free 3.5k, and it beats eating a punish for using your drive. Oh, absolutely. He is dead. <laughs> yeah. That is a dead Tsubaki. Plus, does it put you in active flow if you're not It already? does. It automatically puts you in active flow, which increases your damage by some amount. Yeah. And um, we've also increased his meter gain. Yeah. I'm not sure if Hibiki needed to use his OD there. overdrive there, and he might have just created a really bad situation for himself. He may have, I'll be honest. Uh, you do lose burst. It goes on 50% cooldown when you use overdrive. Yes. See, that Tsubaki projectile is just not good. No. All right, that was good. Counter hit. Let's see if we have counter hit specific combos. I feel like that might be one. I wouldn't know. Uh, but 4K seems like counter hit specific. Yeah. So Ooh. Uh, I don't know if he can't or he's just choosing not to grab there, but that looked like a free grab opportunity. It kind of did. All right, we do have five Ooh. seconds of overdrive now. Hibiki's going to have burst when this ends. Okay, he used overdrive. It looked like he I framed through Ooh, the overhead. That's probably done. A good overhead to end it. Yeah, it's just offense against offense. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what their defensive tools are outside of DP, but even DP still that's an offensive defensive tool. Yeah. So that was just